I've got to go to this email. It came in and it reminded me of a conversation I had at my house over the holidays. And it also reminds me of conversations I have here at my work. So the email comes in from Connor. How do I even get my head in the right place to start planning my will? The thought of dying scares me, but I know this is important. So this comes into the Dave Ramsey office and they were like, hey, we know a guy that can answer that question. The thought of dying scares me, but I know it's important. So over the holidays, I sat down and talked to my dad about the fact that he's going to die. And he talked to me about his will and my mom's will. I talked to my mom. We had a big family discussion about it. Hey, mom, you're going to die. What would you want your funeral to look like? And she's like, whatever y'all want. And I said, no, you have to tell us. Don't put this on us, please, because then we're going to fight about it. I'm going to want to have poison songs and Pantera songs. And my sister is going to want to like do it the right way and all that kind of stuff. Right. And we talked about it and it was half smiling and half very serious. But in our house, and again, I'm blessed. My dad is a homicide detective. We've just talked about death since I was a little kid. And that's probably why I had to see a counselor, but it's going to happen. We did a big study uh, a few years ago, and we came up with a startling conclusion. A hundred percent of you listening to this are going to die someday. It will simply happen. It's going to. Me too. Um, there's this awesome guy out there watching the show. Him too. James, Kelly, Zach. I don't know about Kelly. Kelly may be able to buck the system. hundred percent James and Zach, they're going to die, right? You're going to die, going to die. Mm, I'm for sure going to die. It's part of it, right? And I'll also say this. Not everybody can talk about death. Oh, and then me and my wife, part of our uh, annual retreat, we redid our wills. We got on uh, a will thing here that we have here at the Ramsey office, a will program, Mama Bear Wills, and we redid our wills together. And we talked about it. You're going to die. I'm going to die. Someone's going to have to take our kids. Someone's going to have to. And we filled in the blank. Who do we want to have the guitars? Who do we want to have whatever? And we went through that whole thing. So... I know that I'm blessed when it comes to that conversation because I've talked about death with enough people over the years to know that for most of you, it's super awkward. This is not an, a, a, a this, uh, the fact that you're going to die, not having a will, that is not an optional thing. We have to stop talking about not having a will or I'll get to it. My friend, John King, he's one of my best friends on planet earth. He said it best. The only reason to not have a will is if you hate your wife and kids. The only reason to not have a will is if you hate your husband and you want to make things, you want to make life awful for your children. If you are single, the only reason to not have a will is you want to torture your parents and your friends. It's just inexcusable. And it's now it's so cheap, you can do it online. Um, it's just inexcusable. You have to do it. So here's the thing. Most of us go through life avoiding hard conversations. We avoid them at work. We avoid them with our the person that we're in love with. We avoid it with the person that we are crushing on. We avoid them with ourselves. This is an easy one because we're all going to die right? It's, it's easy, but not easy, right? Like, oh, lose weight, just diet and exercise. Cool. And that's a trillion dollar industry, right? Most people deep down crave real hard conversations. They just don't know how to start them. So here's a couple of quick tips. Number one, plan it. Make a plan. If you are single, call a friend over. If you need to get a glass of wine or two and some trashy food, I'm giving you permission to order a pizza one night. You're going to have rocket gas the next day, but go for it. Um, invite them over and say, okay, I got to do a will. I want you to do this with me. We're going to put on some music. We're going to laugh our way through it. If you are married or you're about to get married, if you have kids, you've got a, you've got an emotional, a psychological, a spiritual, whatever all AL obligation you want to say, you've got to do it. So plan the conversation, tell your wife, tell your husband, tell your fiance next week on Friday, we're going to have a date, but we're going to talk about we're going to do a will. I'm not doing a will. I'm not. Having a will does not make you die quicker. Having a will doesn't make death more imminent. There, it, it drives me crazy. You got to get on the same page, right? Um, you're going to have to have conversations like, hey, who's going to be the executor of our will? Um, who's going to take care of our kids? Who's going to be the power of attorney? How long do you want to be on a ventilator? How long do you want to fill in the blank? you got to have those questions, right? So here's what I want you to do. Um, the Ramsey folks here that I work with, they came up with this awesome thing. Text LEGACY, L-E-G-A-C-Y, to 33789. I'm not trying to sell you nothing. 
This is just, I'm tired of people dying without wills. I cannot tell you how many people I've sat with and I looked them in the eye or held them as they are shaking, they're crying so hard, and their husband or their wife is dead in the next room or it's being wheeled outside on a gurney and they look me in the eyes with a look, it is a very unique look, and they say the words, what am I supposed to do now? If you've never helped somebody try to get county funding because they don't have any money to bury their husband because the money is there was no will and so it's going to be all tied up in a mess you've got to do it you've got to got to got to and if you're young and you're listening to this get a will get it i don't care how old you are how not old you are text legacy to 33789 you're going to get a free how to talk about your legacy guide they're going to push you to mama bear wills and um, please do that. Please do that. It is so cheap. It's so easy. You will check it off your heart and mind. And that's all I'm going to say about it.